Hey y'all, say y'all, it's me, Shaz, over here at Northside 420 um, for Throw Thursday with DJ Two Throw. Shout out to Keezy and them or whatever. And who do we have here? Yo, what's up? My name is Thero, represent the 448 Club. Out here in Houston. Come on, come life. on up. Why is oh, you being shy? Hey, I ain't shy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never Don't shy. Don't be that way. You, you feel to. me? I was just doing my thing, man. I was feeling me, man. Okay. Well, I, I like, like DJ, man. That shit ain't gonna never be the same. You just fucked it up for me. But it's okay. Because we're here. So look, I'm out here, I'm in Houston. I got a dope ass single that's out right now. It's called Smart Girls. Shit live. It's dope. High life featuring legendary shine. The album is out right now. Well, EP, I gotta say technically, right? Right, right. Yeah. So it's called Make It Make Sense. Y'all check it out. We out here. We represent right now 420 Smoke That. I mean, Stack That. I'm feeling good. <laughs> I didn't drunk that. <laughs> so it's happening. You know what I'm saying? What else we got going on? All right, y'all interview me. I'm here. Okay, so since you didn't kind of went through all the questions that I had, uh, let me ask you the ones that I got left. Okay, so um, where do people find you at? Where we okay. gonna find you? On Instagram, you're gonna find me as the 448 Club. I'll just type in my name, Thero, T H U R O. On um, YouTube and Spotify and all other major platforms, you'll find me just by typing in my name, T H U R O. Okay, bet, bet. So then my next question would be Who's your favorite? I wanna say who's your favorite rapper, but you know what? Let's narrow it down. Who's your favorite Houston rapper since we ripping our city, man? Houston rapper? I ain't even gonna lie. It's not all the way just for lyrics, it's for motherfucking Slim Thug. Like, the nigga, look. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Slim really like a Don Dada out here. You heard me? I don't think that, I like, he get his, he get his flowers, but I don't really think he get his flowers. Like, I've had the opportunity. <laughs> Opportunity to live next to Slim. I'm not gonna say the location, but I had the opportunity to live next to him like for a little bit and be his neighbor. And the, the shit the dude rapping about, like he really do do that. So, like there's really like you know what I'm saying for in the morning, so, like Thugger, 12 women nigga. leaving, and he done done the. My nigga. Woo, yeah. But I know he had some bad ones coming out. He there. sound <laughs> like more of a motherfucking Slim Thug <laughs> fan than me at this just point. Like I'm kind of jealous. I ain't tripping. You heard me? Just invite me to a party. That's all I'm saying, Slim. <laughs> I'm to a party. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Do my thing. I ain't even gonna mess with you. You heard me? I'm gonna live my life. Okay, so what's your favorite Thugger song then? Um, my favorite Thugger album. Oh, album. You okay, come me? on. I'm come on with it. What you got? Song. Because, like, I was fucking with him before I even moved out here. So, my favorite Thugger album is the motherfucking Already Platinum. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That was the first one. I know a lot of people out here don't like that shit, but that was my favorite, favorite. Oh, that's cool. We don't care what they don't like. We don't care what they don't like. It's a, it's about what you like right now. Yes, Lord. So, Lord. Um, my next question would be to you. Um, so, pretty much you're saying some Thug's your favorite Houston rapper, so that's straight or whatever. So, did Thugger inspire you to start your own music or um, you just kind of no. look up to the nigga or what? No, I, I ain't gonna say I looked up to him. Um, as I got older, I looked up more to his, like, um, to his business ventures and the things that he does and the financial literacy, you know, literacy that he's trying to put out there for us. But for the most part, it really wasn't that. It was just because the nigga got dope lyrics, man. It was just, yeah. it was just basically because of that. And then once I got to live by him, you actually get to see the person. He's down to earth. He's real, real cool. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying, hating his heart like that. He's showing love. You know what I'm saying? It was I actually had the chance to go run with him, like jog with him one time in Memorial Park. It was dope. You feel me? The nigga telling me how to, you know, keep up my fucking breath and shit like that. So That's tight. That's really down to earth. So let's say, for instance, you put your music out there. You you got it to where you want it to be. And now you got money like him. You're in a position just like him. What's the first business you trying to open? Um... I ain't gonna lie, I probably would try to open it. Maybe like a, a homeless youth health center, something like that. That's maybe. good, that's good. You know what I'm saying? But it would probably be non-profit. It would probably be nothing more than just, you know what I'm saying, providing jobs. All right, picture this. So I uh -huh. have the opportunity okay. in the platform to Put save. us there. I'm trying okay. to. So it would be is maybe like, you know what I'm saying, a big ass building to where it will be ran by the homeless people for the homeless people. So the people that have shown that they can operate day to day tasks and shit like mm -hmm. that, these would be the people that's in charge of the checking in and checking out. And you know what I'm saying? Everyone has an opportunity. Fresh clothes every day. 
you know what I'm saying, just something to help out the people that didn't had it a little bit harder in life. That's actually really, really good. And then further my objectives, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's a very great start because people don't even understand the percentage rate of homeless people. Yeah, you know, really, you got, really big. yeah, you got laws and stuff telling these people they can't stay under the bridge. Well, where the fuck else they got to go? You know what I'm saying? So that's a really good thing. Yeah. Tell the people your name again. Man, my name is Thero, T-H-U-R-O. You dig what I'm saying? I'm on Instagram as the 448 Club. Make it make sense out right now on all major platforms. We out here in Houston. Northside, what's up? You know. You got big dreams, Thero. That's good. Keep going. Keep going. I want you to follow your dreams always and forever. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, y'all, that was it. Me and um, Thero. Y'all stay real. Keep it shrill or whatever. And make sure you tune in to Trill for Life Radio. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>